In this video, I'll show you how to fix in case your Epson EcoTank printer, mine is the ET2800, but it works with any others Epson EcoTank, is not printing the black ink. So how do you solve this problem? Well, I'll show you different solutions. The first one that everyone should try is to simply go on the back of the printer, unplug it like this, wait five minutes and then plug it back. This is a soft reset, nothing will be deleted. It just makes the printer shut completely down. And if there was a software issue, this could solve it. So try this first before doing what I'll show you next. Now for the second thing you can try is to put a blank sheet of paper and load it in the printer. On the screen of your Epson EcoTank printer, uh, maybe yours is a bigger screen, maybe yours is not the, sa the same. You should go and select maintenance, then press OK. And then you should select nozzle check, press OK. It will tell you to load an A4 size paper, we already did. And then press print, you see this print button. Now let's wait for the page to get printed. Perfect, now take it and on the top left corner over here, you should see black and the colors. If you cannot see any black ink at all and if these lines are with holes and if it doesn't look the way it looks on my paper, there's a good chances that your print head, the one with the blank ink is clogged and we need to unclog it. Rest assured, it's very easy to do it. So to do this, we can exit this menu. Here they're asking, are there any missing segments? In our case, no. Okay, and you're gonna go in the same menu, the maintenance menu, where it says head cleaning. Press OK. And now it will ask you clean print head to correct missing dots or maybe other problems if you don't see at all the blank ink. So what you're gonna do is press OK and this way, it will unclog the print head that can get clogged in case you're not printing very often. Now, if this didn't work, another thing you can try is to go in the settings menu. And once you're here, press the left side arrow again and select restore default settings. Press OK and then go all the way where it says clear all data and settings. This way, we'll try to get rid of this problem by doing by completely erasing everything and you'll need to reconnect the printer to the wireless network and do the same thing you did when you bought it brand new. Hopefully this will solve your issue. If you have other solutions that I didn't talk in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure somebody will be very grateful to read them. If not, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.